done with this one. Now we get to go to the ring compressor. And you're going to need a short extension and a quarter inch drive because this is old school right here. This is, and this goes in right here. Tightens it up. All right. And this releases it. Pink. All right. So basically, the easiest way for me to tell you this is like uh, WD 40. It's been sitting for a while. Okay. So where the closer the bands are, that's going to be against the. the that's going to be against the block, and this is going to be up. So, this is going to go in like this. You can, you got to spread it out. It's a little bit big. All right. Just going to get it over the piston. You're just setting it over the piston. You, I, I like to line it up with the bottom of the, not this bottom of the head skirts. I like the bottom. Uh, the red shirt and then we're just going to tighten this down basically this is how this works now i don't have this oriented or anything like i want i'm not where i want to be but this is this is the basic principle of this and then we'll we would take this over and slide it in the hole tap it against the block itself to center this up and then boom, 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 push it in and it releases and it just shoves out. Now, I'm not going to do this right now, but this is the basic principle of how this works. Now, when we actually do this, I'll show you. We're going to actually put oil in here because we want to lubricate. Then once we're ready, we'll oil the cylinders and oil the rings. It's, this is the messy part, but this is the but the last thing to do. We'll put bearings in the saddles and we'll put uh, oil in the rings and oil in the cylinders and slop everything up and start putting pistons in and that's the biggest all the rest of it's just outside extra stuff i mean that's the biggest thing um so let's get to it houston we have a problem all right now i want you to see the orientation of these pistons and this is the way i got them back from the machine shop three years ago all right These two are correct. You see, scraper goes to the crank, the throw of the crank, scraper goes to throw crank. This is one and three. Number five, see anything different? It's on the wrong side. Number six, seven, it's on the wrong side. And if I'm not mistaken, all of these are on the wrong side. We'll take number two right here, all right, dot in front. Actually, no. This is right. Number two, to the crank. Number four, dot to the front. But then, the scraper's on the wrong side. The scraper, that little tab, right there, that little tab right there, is supposed to be to the meat of the crank. And it's not. It's on the wrong side. Have you guys heard yet? Uncle Buck's Garage is giving his first giveaway, which is this engine as it sits. All right. This is the one in the video with almost 700,000 views. So if you want to know what's in this, watch that video. Buy yourself a little bit of merch and you're qualified. You just got to send me a screenshot of the purchase. Good luck and have a good day. Okay. I think I got it figured out. Uh, apparently... Three years ago, the machinist didn't go by the numbers stamped on the rods. Okay. So I've got one and three are on one and three rod. I've got this is rod number. This is rod number four and rod number six. Four, five, and seven. This is how they're going to lay in the in the engine, all right. But the numbers ain't right because this is four and six, and that's seven and five back there, which should be four and six back there. So when he reconned the rods, he didn't pay attention to the numbers on the caps, which this is fresh recon. So this is there. 
it's not necessary for them to go back in. It just kind of caught me off guard when I noticed it. I don't like it, but now I got to change these rings to those, whichever hole I'm going to put them in. So I haven't changed any rings out yet, but I got to move rings um, to make them match the holes, which is more time consuming, but it's pretty easy. We'll just get the little tool back out and we'll just pull them off and swap them. But this is going to be tedious one at a time to make sure I get everything back in where it's supposed to go. Okay, called the machine shop and she verified that it doesn't really matter what the numbers on the rod cap uh, stamped on the rod is because they've all been because they've all been reconditioned and resized, then it doesn't really matter what the stamping is. So he actually did give me everything oriented the correct way. It's just not according to the number on the caps. All right. New four, new six, new five, new seven. Okay. I got the situation with uh, everything straightened out, as you can see. I got it figured out. So now we're going to start need to do the assemblies trying to get them off all right so I want to keep that oriented for the rod and again this is another one of those do it one at a time I'm gonna wipe out the rod cap in the rod we're gonna the, and then we're gonna get a bearing and yep as you can see they're standards all right so it's pretty simple. They're identical top and bottom. So there isn't any difference in them. And you just basically press them in place. Keep her. And just press them in. Keep her. And just get them where they need to go. Sometimes you got to wiggle them a little bit. Or take them back out because they're being, they're not working for you. There we go. All right. And also, I need to get out my old school <laughs> Michigan engine bearings. That's right. And you know what these are? You guys know what these are? These are protectors for the threads for your crank. A lot of people just use old rubber hose and everything. I've had these forever. And they're dirty and they're old, but they work and they're handy. All right. So, as you can tell, they are old. All right. So, that makes it where you can put it over the crank without trying to have a chance of scarring the crank. All right. And then that one's gone. We're done with that. All right. And then, so now we need to move over the engine. And with my ring compressor, my old school ring compressor, and my ratchet, and I got my rings, and I got my squirt bottle already ready to go. Okay, first thing I need to do is I need to wet that cylinder. And we're going to be reusing this stuff all the time, so we're just going to put this here. going to put this here. I need to wipe my hands off. Make sure I'm clean. All right, we're going to put a little bit of oil in the cylinder, and we're just going to smooth it around. All right, and we're going to take the rod and piston assembly. Remember, dot to the front. We're going 12 o'clock. I'm just double checking my ring. We're ready to go. Now, we need to just get some oil in this thing. And you can do this. I prefer to do this above. All right. I prefer to do this above the engine so that whatever drips drips onto the engine, which makes it even better. All right. Then we're going to slip this over. Top like this. All right. Like I said, I like to do it to the bottom of the deal right there then we're going to tie this down Oop, wrong way just 
time until she quits. <coughs> All right, she quit. All right, now, dot in front, piston in the hole. All right, and then we're going to take a, I get a hammer, and I just like to give it a little, just make sure it's there. All right, and then we're ready to go. Yep. Then we're going to have to tighten it up a little bit more. Sometimes them main rings don't like to go. And that's all there is to it. It'll pop itself off. Oh, by the way, I've checked all the all the mains. The bear, the um, they're all three thousandths and within just a hair of each other. Right. And you just slide her into your home. Done. All right, then we're going to pull the rubbers off. All right, then we're going to take a little bit of oil. Rub it on the bearing. And remember, scrapers out to the knee of the crank. And then we'll take our uh, cap screws right here. We can take our impact with the 9 16 and we can just lightly put that on. And like I said, this is just on a very light setting. And that's just to kind of put it in place. And if you want to, you can always put a little bit of extra oil in there just to smooth it around to make life easier on yourself while you start getting the next one ready and then the next one ready and then the next one ready and you do all four on this side on one side and then you can flip it over and do the rest all right and that's just where the crank was you can put them in pretty much wherever you want to you can put them in where pretty much wherever you want to but that's that's pretty much the process and i'll do that with all the rest of these and you know that number one don't mean shit now but that's basically the process of doing this and we'll do this seven more times and we'll get these all done and then we'll flip it over we'll torque them all okay i got this side done all the dots to the front all the rings are put where i want them and then we got to finish this side put them in and they're ready to go and i got four sets of bearings left and we're almost done. All right. She's pretty. Pretty, pretty. Yep. All the dots to the front. And don't worry about the, the oil that's in the cylinders here. As soon as I flip this over to torque the uh, rods. Because they're all just in loose right now. They're just in finger tight. They're not torqued. So this is all. But when I used this... This is about 20% Marvin Mistral and about 80% 530. All right. And there isn't any rhyme or reason to which one you want to do first. It's just, I've always just, the ones that I can reach. Okay. So it's uh, 45 pounds. And so since these are all the way in the backpack here, we're just going to torque these 45 pounds. Oop. There we go. There we go. Like I said, I just had these on loose. 45. Forty-five. Now let's go back and just double check. Alright. Alright, then we'll give her a little spin. And we'll do these four. Like I've always said, I don't like using an extension. I prefer use, even using a short. Um, just to make sure, just to, that little extra, just to make sure that the reading is right.
All right, what's that left to do? Double check. All right, we're done. We're torqued. Bottom end is finished. Well, except for the oil pump. So if you're still here, like, share, subscribe, smash that button, hit that bell, tell your friends. Don't forget Thursday Night Lives every Thursday night. We do a live at 8 o'clock Central. It's a lot of fun. And we talk about stuff like this. So I'll have a great day because a great day today could be what? A rotating assembly completely torqued, specced, ready to go in the morning. Y'all be good.